my name is Maya and welcome to the Mila Stinks YouTube channel. So today is the 5th of August 2024 and this is the beginning, like the episode 0 or 1 <laughs> of a summer series I am planning on knitting, crafty stuff and it's going to be like a daily vlog, podcast, journal, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> about um, this. <laughs> so let me explain. I kind of announced it already in the podcast, but I have a lot of, probably as all of you have, like small stuff I need to do, like straps I need to shorten, or sleeves I need to lengthen, or a big project where I have finished the knitting and I just need to sew the pieces together, but I'm never doing it. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot of small stuff like that I need to finish and address and I thought it could be funny to do a summer series, however you want to call it, <laughs> about me uh, doing all of that. So it's going to be pretty satisfying, I guess. You're gonna get a lot of me crossing stuff out of a list because I know how, how I work and I did super small tasks so that it's easy to do. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I think this series is probably gonna be, gonna be like one episode a day, or maybe every two days, I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> we shall see. I think every morning I will choose in the program maybe two or three things I want to do throughout the day, and then see how much of that I can get done, and you will be able to follow me during the day <laughs> and see that. I'm also going to do other stuff, like... I still go climbing every two days usually, so there should be some action too. <laughs> and uh, we will see what happens, I have no idea. <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise, so yeah. The format is probably, I'm calling it a summer vlog or summer journal, but really it's gonna be a summer podcast, <laughs> daily podcast, because I'm probably going to, as I said, sit down in the morning, explain my program, and then we're gonna have like two or three shots of me during the day doing the thing and then at the end of the day it's gonna be me sitting in front of the camera explaining what I did, what I didn't do and then it's gonna be done and we are probably gonna have almost no shots of vlog style because I'm super bad at it <laughs> and unless I get like a struck by inspiration and I suddenly crack the code to doing super beautiful vlogs it's probably not gonna happen but maybe <laughs> who knows <laughs> Anyway, so I think that's all for the introduction. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the program. First, let me check the time because it's 9.30 a.m. and the Olympics semi-finals for climbing are starting at 10 and I don't want to miss that. So we have 30 minutes. We should be good. <laughs> so the program, as I showed, is this. It's just a list with some... Uh, like categories and then stuff written uh, below. I'm probably not gonna do all of it, but I just wrote everything so that each morning I can just select what I feel inspired to do and we will see how much I get done. And I probably forgot some stuff, but I can still add to the list uh, during the week. So, in the fixing category, I have the backless bralette. Now it's called the Dahlia bralette, I think, that I test knit for knitwear by Joan. Uh, Joanne something a few months ago and it's not published yet it's going to be published in the book uh, about summer knitting she's going to release next summer but uh, we couldn't do any modification during the test knit so I just needed exactly the pattern but the straps are absolutely not uh, staying on my back <laughs> they are just rolling all over the shoulders which is a shame because the the top is super cute so I need to fix those straps I'm probably gonna do some crossing something <laughs> on the back so I need to do that. I have my little crystal sweater that I test knit for selling Phaeton. I added pockets, but the beginning of round was not exactly at the underarm. It was shifted towards one side and I forgot that. And when I placed the pocket, I just counted as if the beginning of round was at the underarm, which it wasn't. So the pockets are shifted like by a lot. <laughs> so I need to do some surgery. I'm going to cut the middle of the body and then shift everything a few stitches and then graft everything together. Now I have also my ranunculus sweater and the sleeves have uh, shrunk a lot because of the elbow situation. 
it's not a fitted sleeve, but the elbow is um, stretching the fabric enough that I have lost quite a lot of length. And I have a little bit of yarn left, so I need to lengthen the sleeve on that one. I have, actually it's just there. I have knitted a summer top using a non super wash um, kind of heavy fingering weight uh, yarn. This is the Arrow Bralette by Iris Makes, Iris H. And it's beautiful, I love it, but I have just knit a replacement of the same pattern in white so that I could frog this one, <laughs> even though this is one of my favorite summer knits, because it's a little bit too thick and hot uh, anyway, um, warm I mean, uh, because I want to knit a pocket with this on the no sweat, no sweat shirt, I think, by Park and Knit, which is a, like a, a raglan hoodie cropped like a little bit like a sweatshirt <laughs> and I wanted to add a, a, like a kangaroo pocket to the front because I have uh, mild yarns and I have the join that's exactly in the middle of the front which is disgusting and I don't like seeing this line in the middle of the belly and I just wanted to hide it with the pocket and this yarn would pair absolutely perfectly with the mild colors I'm using in that particular sweater so I wanted to use this yarn and it's discontinued, so I can't get more of it, so I need to frog this guy to make the pocket of the sweater. Which is sad, but I have need a replacement now, so I don't need it anymore. And I have a lot of summer tops that I have just finished. And I have need the straps shorter, uh, like a lot shorter. Even after blocking, they were still a bit short, but they all stretched out more than expected with wearing. So yeah, we have kind of a situation of everything is a little bit too too low on me now, so I have like, I think, at least three, if not four, uh, summer tops with the straps that I need to shorten. But I don't think I'm going to shorten them, I think I will try putting like a thread elastic inside the straps uh, and just make it a little bit short so that it, yeah, it shorten the straps without me having to go inside the yarn, cut it and graft again. So we'll see how much of that I can get done and if it works. I'm gonna try on one and see if it works <laughs> first. <laughs> now, that was for the fixing. Now I have for the knitting projects, I want to, of course, finish this big dress. I'm almost done actually. I have almost finished the fourth <laughs> ball and I think I'm gonna need maybe five to five and a half. So yeah, this is almost done, but I want to finish this guy. But this is just going to be like the mindless knitting between projects because this is just knitting in the round with increases sometimes. Uh, so yeah, not a big deal, but I just want to finish that one. Now the big guy, <laughs> the probably biggest project of the whole summer, is that I want to sew, I mean piece together my huge colorwork blanket. It's the Arctic Morning Blanket by Jenny's Hope and I have finished knitting all 29 hexes. I'm using unspun yarns, uh, knitted and by owner of air. And I just need to piece it together. But I'm not doing it because I prefer knitting than sewing, so yeah. <laughs> but I need to do that. So that's also the big plan. And knit the border, which I still don't know uh, which color I'm gonna use. I don't know. <laughs> That's the big project for the summer. Now I also need to uh, start the third sample of my skitter skirt design, which is my first design. It's currently in testing and I just wanted to knit a sample in a lace weight. <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna take ages and I just want to get it started so that it's once I'm done with the mindless knitting in the round on the dress, I'm gonna have the mindless knitting in the round for the skirt. So yeah. Now for sewing, I have actually already finished this, which was in the list, but I also need to finish the big brother, which is the, the whole quilt. I'm not going to unravel the tube because it was a pain to make, but yeah, I just need to finish the quilting on it and then trim the border and then add the the border. <laughs> I don't know how it's gone. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty quick, I think. Uh, one hour to, yeah, less than two hours for sure. So I need to finish that one too. And that's kind of all for sewing. Now I have 
for knitting, I still have small little things which are probably gonna take me one or two days to make. But we will see which one I select in the list. <laughs> I want to uh, probably crochet, uh, like, um, how do you call that? A carpet for the hallway. It's not really a hallway, but yeah, um, for the entrance of my apartment. <laughs> yeah, because I just feel it could be nice to have something to put the shoes on, basically. And I just figured instead of buying something, I can just make it myself. So yeah, there's that. And I also want to make a carpet from my desk, which is right here, because the floor is a, a mix of tile and concrete. I don't know how you call that in English, but whatever. <laughs> and it's cold, especially not during the summer, but during the winter, my feet get super cold. So I just wanted to need something super thick and super warm for my feet on my desk. And I'm probably gonna make it with crochet so that it's even thicker. And I'm probably gonna use Nutinet because I want to use up my knitting stash and crochet uses up a lot of yarn, so we will see. <laughs> That's the plan. I also uh, have two leftovers that I want to knit into uh, Augustine's number 22. That's usually what I do when I have small amounts of uh, plant fibers leftovers. So I have two quantities for that and it usually takes me like a day to make, so that's also the plan. And then I have a bonus one, but I'm not going to mention it because I'm probably not going to do it anyway. <laughs> now, for the... I just mentioned my first design, the Skeeter Skirt, which is currently in testing, and I still have a little bit of stuff to do on it. So I need to edit the tutorials for the pockets. I still haven't done that because you do that at the end once it's blocked and I... And the first people that were going to finish their sample were for the kids, and kids don't have pockets, so it wasn't really... Um, on the top of the to-do list, <laughs> but now people are starting to finish their sample for like adults, so I need to do that fast. <laughs> and I have translated the pattern in French, but I still need to translate the drawings, because I have written some stuff in English, but I need to change it up uh, in French also. And I need to do subtitles for the video tutorials in French, which is gonna take ages, but I need to do it. <laughs> So that's all for the knitting and sewing, but I have a bonus category <laughs> of like crafty stuff I want to do. The first one is still knitting, but it's, it's a mix. I shared in my latest podcast episode that I have the lighting situation in my apartment that's absolutely not sorted <laughs> and I need to do something about it. And I was thinking of knitting lampshades and felting them. I'm probably going to use as a base the Handmade Knitted Lamp Shades by Elisa Schnur. Schnur? I don't know <laughs> if that's the correct name, but it's going to be written. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to do something like this, probably in Nutiden again, because Nutiden felt really nicely, so that could be nice. And I have four, four lamps. So we will see. Maybe I do one and I hate it, so I'm not going to do the others. But also maybe I'm going to make one and love it, so I'm going to have to do four lampshades. We shall see. <laughs> now, I also have... it's still fiber related. I have started this kind of macrame hanger thing based on a reel I saw on Instagram by this person. <laughs> and yeah, it looks beautiful, it's super easy to do. And I have already finished the hanger with the macrame strings and I just need to actually do the knots with the yarn on the strings. <laughs> I just need to start it. It's going to be super fast, I guess, once it's started, but yeah, just need to do it. So that's also the plan. And the last one is also kind of bonus. Uh, in my last uh, apartment where I lived, I did some drawings on the windows using a white chalk marker, is that how you call them? The thing that writes in white on surfaces like glass or blackboards. And I just wanted to do drawings on these windows too. I mean, you cannot see them, but here. <laughs> so that's gonna be bonus. If I ever get tired of knitting or anything or whatever, I can just draw as well. But we will see if it ever gets done. <laughs> that's kind of a bonus one. So that's it for the list. What time is it? It's okay. I still have time before the 
uh, climbing semi-finals. <laughs> so, that's it for the program. Uh, today I think I'm going to first finish the, this ball for the dress I'm knitting. This is gonna take no time. <laughs> and then uh, I'm snapping a picture every time I finish a ball, so I just need to take the picture with this. And then I can start the maybe the last ball? I don't know, we'll see. And what can I do also today? I think I'm gonna finish the quilt as well, this guy, because it's gonna be quick. And then I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I think I'm going to lay the colorwork blanket on the ground so that I can really see what, I'm, what I need to do. And then I'm gonna start piecing it together. I think that's a good one. I'm gonna start the colorwork blanket. Yes. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, tonight I think I'm gonna go climb, um, probably by the end of the afternoon, so I will try to take some footage. I don't usually do it because the climbing gym, I mean there are other people there and people walk on the mats and then if I set up the camera on the mat, if someone walks by it, then the camera falls. So yeah, it's difficult. Oh, that means I need to ask someone to film me, but Nobody does that. <laughs> I feel kind of self-conscious, like, hey, I climb so well, would you like filming me, please? <laughs> yeah, I don't really like uh, doing it, but we'll see. Maybe if I have a really close friend that's there, I can just ask them to film me. So maybe we'll get footage of that. But that's for the end of the day. For now, I'm just going to uh, get myself a nice beverage and set up the climbing semi-finals Olympics and then just get cozy and start the day. So yeah, I'm super excited. I hope I hope I'll manage to actually film every day. <laughs> we'll see if I if I can make it or not. So let's get started. <laughs> address the color work blanket situation. So I've been thinking about it and I have a problem because this white stuff is batting I bought for quilting but it's a little bit weak and actually this is too heavy and you probably can't tell on the video but it's, it's getting completely stretched. Um, so yeah it's getting very thin in the middle here because there is just too much weight hanging on there. And I have this, which is like the bar you have to hang the curtain on a bathtub. <laughs> and I use that uh, to place the batting on it. Uh, because I have um, like a hallway in my apartment and I could place the bar in the hallway and I had the whole thing hanging from there. Which was nice uh, to film the beginning of the whole piecing together. But now it's too heavy. I can't do that anymore. Uh, it's only 
a little bit more than half of the weight of the whole blanket hanging on here and it's already completely stretched out so there's no chance I could use the bar again here uh, put it again in the hallway and then have the whole blanket hanging on this which means um, I also thought maybe I can just leave it there and start piecing the pieces together like take off two, piece them and place them back and then take the next one but I think the best is still to avoid fighting against gravity and just put the whole thing on the ground. <laughs> it's just gonna be easier. But the thing is, my apartment is not so big, so I'm basically going to uh, have a danger zone <laughs> in the middle <laughs> of my living room. And yeah, it's gonna be very impractical, but at the same time, it's also going to encourage me uh, to finish piecing it together uh, the faster I can, so that I can uh, free the hallway <laughs> of the living room. So I think that's a good call. I'm probably going to take this off the TV <laughs> and put it on the ground there and see from there if I start from the center or from the border, I don't know. I'm just going to do that now and we'll see how it goes and how much room it takes because maybe the floor isn't big enough. I don't know. <laughs> So you can see the beauty in all its glory. <laughs> I'm so excited for this to be done. So now the problem I have is I need to decide what yarn I'm gonna use to join everything. So I've made a little drawing there. In blue are all the joints between the hexi that has this dark brown main color and dark brown main color at the edge. So those dark brown to dark browns are in blue. And then I have in purple, so this guy, the joints between the black. It's darker than this brown, the black black. Joints between black black. And then in pink, those I have the joints between the brown and the black. I have quite the possibilities to do each joint, but I just want to make sure I make the best decision. <laughs> so I have done a little calculation because each border like this is 15 centimeters and you use about three times the length of yarn to do a kitchener. So 15 centimeters times three is 45 centimeters. So I've calculated, I have 40 joints um, of dark brown between dark brown. So that's 18 meters of yarn I need, which is really not too much. I need uh, 4 meters of the black and black and I need 8 meters of the black between the dark brown. So to do the joining, I will put, put up a picture here. I have basically four options. I have either leftovers of the dark brown, leftovers of the black, I have some Letlopi in dark brown that a friend sent me and I have leftovers from a dark brown yarn from Willy Mammoth Fiber Company, which is a natural brown. And as you can see on the picture, uh, they are kind of in between. <laughs> they are not perfect match, but they are excellent matches. So yeah, I still need to make a decision because the thing is, sewing everything with unspun yarn is possible, but it's gonna be maybe unnecessary <laughs> since I have options that are spun yarns. So I don't know if I prefer having a nice experience in sewing and not having the best color match or having the best color match and maybe struggle with sewing. And the dark brown, so this guy, I want to send the leftovers to the friend who sent me the red lopi because her mom wants uh, this exact colorway to finish a project of hers. 
But at the same time, I'm only needing like 18 meters of it, so it's really nothing. And I saved a lot of this color because I used uh, gray here in the middle of those two hexes, even though I should have used only the dark brown for the whole thing. I'm happy with the result actually, so it was a good call. But yeah, I saved up a lot of yarn by doing this, and I could use what I saved to join all the dark brown hexes together. So, what I'm gonna do is do a try by using the black to join two hexes and see if sewing with unspun is painful or not. <laughs> and if it's not too painful, I will do the whole thing with unspun. And if I don't like it, I will just use the other ones I have. So that's the plan. All right, time for a little checkup on the dress that I'm currently wearing. I have knit like uh, three centimeters this morning and actually I just realized that only the top part here is steam blocked but the bottom is not and it's probably going to stretch out also because of the weight of all the fabric so I need to chill out <laughs> on the endless tokenet and I need to actually decide what I'm gonna do for the hem because what I want to do so now it's wait I think I need to go on the couch it's just uh, at, a, I would say, tolerable length. <laughs> it's too short for me, but yeah. I will need maybe this much more. So I guess, what's that? Eight centimeters. I think that's like three inches uh, to have a nice length. But yeah, for now, it's looking like this. And I'm probably going to get a little bit more length with blocking and stretching. So yeah, I really really need to think about what I'm gonna do for the end. So I wanted to do like a split hem, a small split hem, on the front and back. I don't want necessarily the back to be longer than the front, I don't think so. If it's long enough, it's gonna cover my butt anyway, so it's fine. But I also think I would like to have a rounded hem. Either I don't do a split hem and the back and the front are gonna be joined at the sides here and I'm gonna have a round hem that goes down like this so it's gonna be shorter on the sides and same on the back, round hem on the back or I start the split hem, knit like 2-3 centimeters and then I do a slightly shorter round hem uh, in both cases I'm gonna do the round shape in short rows but yeah, what should I do? do I either do a super dramatic round hem, very, de uh, very deep, or less deep, and I start the split hem a little bit earlier. I don't know, but I think for now, what I've decided to do is go climbing. <laughs> At first I wanted to go climb tonight, but to solve my situation of not being able to film the borders because there are too many people in the gym, is to go uh, in the afternoon, because uh, most people are not on holiday anymore. It's Monday, so it's gonna be pretty empty, and also it's super super sunny and hot, so everyone's gonna be by the lake and not in the climbing gym anyway, if they don't work on Monday. So I think I'm gonna have the gym pretty much myself. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go climb now. It's currently... I don't have the time. It is... Um, how do you say it in English? <laughs> I don't know how to say hours in English. 30 past 2, it's 2.30 p.m. Whatever, it's 14.30. <laughs> yeah, so middle of the afternoon. So I will probably leave now um, so that I can... Usually I climb for like 2 to 3 hours, but it's super hot and if I'm alone I'm gonna climb harder, faster, so I'm probably gonna do a shorter session because I'm not gonna chat with anyone <laughs> if there's no one there so yeah probably two hour session so i will be back by five yeah five o'clock i think and then i don't think i will knit anymore on this guy for today because i want to finish the quilt i want to start piecing the blanket that i just showed you and that's all. <laughs> it's probably not gonna... Oh no, I need to edit the video, so that's it. So what I would like to ask you guys is your opinion on the hem of this. Do I 
don't do the round hem and do just a straight like I need straight it's largely it's wide enough I don't need the split hem really or do I do a split hem by only doing the round hem but very deep or do I do a sh small split hem like this long and then start the round hems a little bit shorter what do you think between those three options or maybe do you have a fourth ID I don't know uh, yeah so let me know your ID and and that's it now I hope I will manage to feel something uh, it also depends if I actually find something funny to show you <laughs> because yeah I usually climb uh, pretty static and boring stuff to watch so not really impressive but I hope I will find nice stuff to show you <laughs> we will see all right see you later <laughs> Here I'm trying a dynamic move. It's not particularly hard, but I'm really bad at it, so I have to try very hard. In this second attempt, my foot slips, so I can't make the move, so I'm trying again. But then I'm too tired and I cannot push hard enough in my leg to go upwards, so I'm very pissed <laughs> and I decided to try something else. So this one I knew I couldn't do, but it was funny to show, so I figured I could show you. The wall is actually very overhanging, the purple part at the top is vertical and the grey part where I am is very overhanging, you can just look at my hair. And this jump is super hard for me, you can see my feet are just sliding everywhere and absolutely not helping me. This one will be pretty interesting because the last time I came to the gym I flashed it. But here I couldn't make it anymore, so watch closely how I'm putting my hands here because this first attempt is going to be the best one before I make it again. But my hands are not crossed and here I'm trying but almost hold it but fall in the end. I just didn't try hard enough to be honest. But here I'm trying something new which is crossing my arms. And again the wall is very overhanging, you can watch my hair to be to get a sense of how much it hangs. This is a much better angle. And I'm trying to cross my hands again, but again, it's not gonna work. And on the last attempt, what I'm going to change is to not cross my hands and put them again how I had them on the first attempt. And it's going to be much better. I'm super pissed. <laughs> so there were actually a lot of other tries in between those two, but I'm just going to spare you those and let you enjoy the final try. I just finished quilting this guy and I need to trim the edges but this is the only floor space that's big enough to hold this in my apartment but it's obviously taken so I'm now going to struggle in a hallway <laughs> to trim this guy this is the short edge so this one is a lot longer. I'm, I'm gonna struggle, <laughs> but I can make it.
Uh, I'm switching to my kitchen because I think the lighting in the living room is too bad in, during the evening. So yeah, um, I stayed a lot longer <laughs> at the gym than I intended to. I think I climbed for like three hours, <laughs> maybe even more. And then I stayed and I met some friends, so I chatted for a while. So yeah, I didn't come home as early as I expected, so I managed to finish the quilting on the quilt and I trimmed the edges. I struggled, but I managed to do it. <laughs> and I started uh, putting the binding, I changed the foot on my machine and everything, but um, yeah, I'm super hungry, it's getting late, it's like 30 past 7 and I still need to edit the video and I don't want to finish too late so I'm just gonna call it a day for now and I'll finish the binding tomorrow, no big deal, it's okay and yeah, so I hope this first vlog journal podcast episode was interesting for you, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you will come back and join me for tomorrow. I think I will film tomorrow. <laughs> I think. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And see you 